in 1982 in the province of Shenyang, China. He started learning piano at the age of three, and now he's called the hottest artist on the classic music planet by the New York Times, and some call him the Tiger Woods of classic music. And he is our guest of today, Chinese pianist Lang Lang. Welcome. So you started learning piano when you were only three years old. How did your parents find out that you had such a talent in music? Uh, first of all, they, they brought the piano um, when I was um, almost two, almost two. Um, and then I was starting uh, watching cartoons. And there's a Monkey King, um, and there's a, uh, uh, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. And then one of the uh, Tom and Jerry cartoon called Cat's Concerto. Um, they were playing piano, and I, I got inspired after watching. You know, they, they were playing Liszt Hungarian Rhapsody. Yeah. So, but I, I didn't know who Liszt was you know, at that time. So, so, so I look at it, I got inspired, um, especially the tuxedo uh, and, and white tie you know, Tom had. It's very fancy. Yeah. Um, and so after that, I start. Uh, playing piano, and uh, I uh, start to uh, study uh, with a really good teacher uh, when I was three and a half uh, in, uh, in Shenyang Conservatory, uh, the teacher, Professor Zhu. Um, and then a lot of times it's about competitions. Uh, so when I was five, my first competition, which I won, uh, happily enough. <laughs> Um, and um, so that was my official debut on stage uh, in front of 800 people. Um, and it was fun. I, uh, I went to the bathroom 10 times <laughs> before the show, before the concert. As an internationally renowned artist, Lan Lan has sold out recitals and concerts in many major cities and is the first Chinese pianist to be engaged by the Berlin Philharmonic the Vienna Philharmonic, and the top American orchestras. In 2007, Lang Lang was guest soloist at the Nobel Prize concert in Stockholm. In 2008, over 5 billion people across the world viewed Lang Lang's performance at Beijing's opening ceremony for the 2008 Summer Olympics. In the same year, he was also featured together with jazz pianist Herbie Hancock at the 2008 Grammy Awards. For Lang Lang, it wasn't an overnight success. He grew up with the company of the piano, while many other kids were probably watching cartoons. For most children, they might enjoy playing with other kids for the most part, but for you, you spend so much time with the company of a piano. How did you balance it? Uh, in, uh, when I was a kid, uh, I actually, growing up uh, in a very musical environment, so all my neighbors, they, they play piano. Seriously, so, so I didn't really felt lost because everyone was practicing. Uh, and also my best friend at that time, I mean, he's still my, my best friend today, uh, he's always waiting for me. He doesn't practice. So. Yeah, he, <laughs> he used to practice and then he, he sees me you know, all the time. He's like, you know, I, I'm going to play Transformers. I'm not going to play pianos. So this guy was like waiting for me outdoor, uh, outside and after I stop and he jumped in let's play let's play games you know so so i had a like you know few great friends so so we always played together so in the beginning it was good no problem but then you know after I go to uh, elementary school and especially after i moved to beijing uh, the play time is finito when you were only 12 years old, you got a precious opportunity to attend a music contest in Germany. And it ended up with you being the champion. What was the reaction of you and your father? Yeah, he never cried, uh, I think, I mean, during my uh, start of my piano career. I mean, never seen him cry until that moment, uh, first international competition. Um, we actually borrowed money to uh, to actually go out and, and buy the tickets, air tickets for me, and my my father, and also my, my teacher at the conservatory, uh, Professor Zhao. Um, and so I didn't know that, of course. It, my parents didn't tell me that actually we borrowed like uh, at that time I would say about fifth, uh, no, no, six thousand US at that time. But 90, I mean, early 90s, that's, 
that's real, enormous amount, you know. And uh, but very, uh, very fortunately, I, I won, and um, and that was a happy time. But then I, I saw the video. My father was crying like really crazy, like he was totally weeping. He was crying like a kid. <laughs> yeah, it was like emotional. You know, I never seen. Yeah. Since Long Long was only three years old, he was under strict discipline from his father, and he sometimes describes him as a tiger father. During the interview, he brought up the book called Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother that released in early 2011 that ignited heated debate on strict parenting techniques to illustrate his relation with his father. For Long Long, as successful as he is, he doesn't think such parenting applies to every child. It's hard to say. It's really you know because everyone has different view. You know, you can't. It's hard, you know, especially in the West, to put your view、uh, on other people, and、uh, and in China, same thing. You know, you you can't, you know, put some other culture and to say this is better and you should do this way. It doesn't work. So it's, my point is that we should learn from each other. And and as as a person, you know, uh, uh, lived in China、uh, for the f- first fifteen years. And then the second fifteen years in the U.S.,、uh, in the West,、um, including Europe as well,、um, I think both cultures are great. But you need to, you know, you need to really take some time and, you know, to to、uh, taste both cultures and, and to find some ways that you can combine. And some ways maybe you you can't combine, you know. But you need to be the judge for yourself. That's my point. Long Long has also stated that its mission is to spread classic music around the world by training children and young musicians through education. He was recognized for his efforts by the United Nations Children's Fund, that appointed him an international goodwill ambassador earlier in 2004. He accomplished all this while still in his 20s. Long Long shared with China Daily his goals for the coming future. Uh, you have achieved so much on the international stage, but what is your expectation for the year of、uh, Dragon?、Um, by the way, yeah, I'm turning 30 this year.、Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I forgot to say it in Chinese. Yeah. yeah, so in Chinese, you know, 三十而立嘛 right? You stand when you're 30. That's in Chinese. So, yeah, I, I hope I will be standing. You know, uh, and uh, uh, and I, I would say that uh, uh, playing. Concerts. Hopefully, you know, I still play hundred、uh, more than hundred concerts a year. So the quality need to be really the best I can be. You know, I I can be. And、uh, and but in the other hands, you know, I have a foundation、uh, and I have a school, piano school. And I really hope that I also take some time and take efforts, you know, to be focused on the educational and charity、uh, projects and to make the connection. Between you know the, the networks I have, you know, friends all over the world from different areas, and to you know to get the idea and to find synergy you know, between our ideas, and to keep finding new ways to、uh, develop a music world.